Again, trying to make the outright winner from that shot, whereas the percentage shot for somebody would be to play the approach, get into the net and let Musta pass you. He looks so laid back when he plays. Don't be uh, fooled. It's not that he's thrown in the towel, Pete Sampras. It's just the way that he looks when he plays all the time. Thirty all. One game more. Now game point. Sampras, if he loses the set, be another seeded player sidelined. Lendl and Svensson, as you know, dropped out before the thing started yesterday. McEnroe was out. Brad Gilbert also beaten. Sampras has been very close in this. It's four and four, six, four, six, four, with just one service break in the opening set, but there were four of them in the second set. Sampras holds on. We're on serve two games to one. Two sets to love for, for the Austrian Thomas number Muster, eight, who's playing eight, the number six seed here, Pete Sampras of the USA. Big welcome back, everybody, to Stade Roland Garros in Paris. A beautiful spring afternoon. It is closing in on late afternoon here in Paris as Thomas Muster serves, trailing 1 2 in the third set, but he's up by two sets to love. It is 6.35 p.m. as you look on live. Here in Paris. Fifteen all. The quiet man of this championship, another American, Aaron Crickstein, through. Boy, he likes to play tough matches, but he plays them very well. Seven five in the fifth set against Eduardo Masso of Belgium. He survived two match points in that fifth set, so two match points down. So what's new for Aaron Crickstein? Every time you come to the French, you see him out there in the first couple of days struggling away on a back court, and he wins it in five. Maybe it's a good omen. They have going to have him check the mark. I asked Aaron Crickstein um, the day before the tournament, I said, what kind of shape are you in? Because he's also been injured a lot. And he said he was fine injury free. Which is bad news for anybody that plays against him because he's another very high percentage player on clay. They're the big points that Pete Sampras has not been making those 15 30 points that was just a three-quarter pace serve Sampras went for too much on the return they're the important points in a situation like this the next round Christine will take on Magnus Gustafsson, by the way, of Sweden, who took out Karl Novacek earlier today from Czechoslovakia, repeater of the German singles final. <laughs> he in the stuff He's back in the stadium court talking on the phone. <laughs> Another big point wasted there by Sampras. He had a break point opportunity. Did not make Sampras, did not make Musta play it again. That Nastasi, you find him everywhere, don't you? hit on the backhand. Game point for Muster to get level here in the third set. 
He has a very expressive face, Mr. Oh, yeah. No, he's a great guy. He loves his tennis. He sits out there every day at the major tournaments. Very close to the line on that uh, foot fault position, isn't he? But he hasn't been called. Signs of frustration now showing on the face of Pete Sampras. I thought they were there even toward the latter stages yep. of the second set, Fred. But, and as you say, they're still there. Two games are all third set, two sets to love. Thomas Muster, first round men's singles here at the French Championships. Our live coverage from Roland Garros continues. I'm Cliff Drysdale with Fred Stolle at the stadium court here. Thirty love. Two years ago, Pete Sampras out here, Roland Garros, lost to eventual champion Michael Chang. Goran Ivanisevic. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's had a, a rough year this year also. As Chang's coaches, that's his dad sitting with him. But even Izovic has changed coaches now. Bob Brett, who uh, looked after Boris Becker for some time, has now taken over with Goran Ivan Izovic. Sampras on this occasion moves in, plays the angle volley, gets it away, and a good stretch for the backhand there. Sampras holds on, he has the lead in the third set. Three games to two, trailing two sets to love. More in a moment. Each year, the experts at Car and Driver look at over a hundred cars, so you don't have to. From the current new cars, they just picked their ten best. At the most, you'll probably only buy one of them. That's too bad, because two of the ten best are Mercury's. Mercury Sable and Mercury Tracer LTS. All this in the quality of a Mercury. helps you get around the battlefield with a little more confidence. First round men's singles of the French Open Championships for this year. This is Stade Roland Garros. 16,500 people can be accommodated in this arena. There are just a few less than that here today watching this best match of the day in all probability between Thomas Muster and Pete Sampras. Sampras has had his chances but just hasn't been able to convert at the right time. Trailing two sets to love. Ahead 3-2 here in the third. Muster serving. Again, a little impatience. <laughs> a 
greetings from Paris. Great shot from Sampras, 15 all. Musta had that career, what could have been career ending accident uh, before the final of the Lipton a couple of years ago. But he came back with a flourish last year, 1990, got back into the top 10. What happened that night uh, was that he had some of the a tournament officials or a tournament official drive them after the tournament, after he played in, against Yannick Noe in the semifinal and won. This is another one of those big Contact. points, those 15, 30 points that uh, Pete Sampras has not Played put any one. pressure on Thomas Muster at all. So Muster once again gets back to 30 all. Yeah, we had a, had a drive to the Bayside restaurant. He was along with Ronnie, uh, Light Gibb, his friend, of course, and another Viennese friend. And the driver dropped him off in the street, and he said that was fine, but it was late at night, no traffic or anything, and he went back to help Ronnie Light Gibb get something out of the trunk finish in a moment. And then in his own words, he said, the next thing I knew, there was a screech and a bang and I was flying. I sat down against a wall and said to myself, my knee's a little swollen, but the trainer can make it right. He said, I got up, tried to, tried to walk and had no control over the leg. Deuce. Big game here for Sampras because he's down two sets, but leading 3-2. If he can achieve a service break here, give him a bit of a boost. He needs it right now. But as yet, has not played those big points well enough. Among other physical problems that Mutra has had, he had that knee scoped again this year. He got it. Great point for Sampras. Remember, Sampras is the, the one who got the first break, early break, first serve game, in fact, of the second set. But Musta broke right back, and then they traded breaks. In fact, there were more breaks than holes in the second set, in all five breaks in all. First set, just one break against Sampras. On the line. A little bit of bad luck because he would have been able to track that one down, Sampras, but it hits the line, skids off it, and there's not much you can do. Deuce again. Another important point. One by Musta. Sampras, last two service games from Thomas Muster has had break point opportunities. Has not been a break of serve in this third set as yet.
I guess he's going to be happy as long as Sampras stays back. Because that's the game that Musta knows so well. Game point for Musta. Trailing 2-3 in the third set. Leading two sets to love. Tried to finish that off quick. That's as hard as he's hit a first serve. And it brings about a double fault. Back even again, back to Deuce. It's only his second double fault of the match by my unofficial count. opportunity for Sampras here. Muster has only won two matches all year. If this match gets close, Cliff, do you think he would have to start to think about that? That would play on his mind somewhat, particularly in a tournament like this. A very important match for both players, as we mentioned. Sampras, though, as we've been talking about, Fred, it just hasn't converted the important points. Here's another one. Break point. On the line. And that is wide, and Sampras has the first break of the third set, leads it by four games to two now. Well, that may change a few things round. Here's Ronnie Lightkip. Thomas Muster's good, close friend. They've been involved uh, for a long, long time as manager and coach. check feedback we used to play in our time got them together originally Sam Press may continue on with this now a little boost of confidence bread and butter swing for him at the best of times watch this he moves well to this Sampras you can watch where this volley lands it's not a good spot it allows Musta plenty of time to get to it Sampras had to pick a spot took down the line and Musta beat him cross court this is a delay between first and second serves Musta wants the ball from some of the folks in the crowd. That's long, so just like happened in the second set when he got the first break, here Musta has an opportunity to break right back. Fifteen forty. So there it is, the break back. We're back on serve in the third set. Two breaks traded in the last two games. It's 4-3 now, set three. Hey, Mr. Dalfour, your graphite's are here. Who guarantees overnight air delivery on Saturday to more people coast to coast? Thank you. 
Who did you think? UPS on Saturday? Darling, after 10 years, the only thing I'd change about you is your clothes. You go, boy. Why don't you try this one on first? In my considered opinion, it's okay to enjoy mowing one's lawn. Oh, for heaven's sake. In fact, my snapper significantly enhances my sense of well-being. Of course, my snapper dealer was kind enough to offer a 14-day money-back test drive. The good man really stands behind his machines. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional help. That's right. See your snapper dealer. Anything less just won't cut it. The Louvre, probably the most famous art gallery in the world, here in Paris. You're visited by millions, of course, every year. This is the stadium court of Roland Garros. First round men's singles, Thomas Muster serving. Now we're on serve in the third set. Muster leads two sets to love. He's playing US Open champ Pete Sampras. 30 love. Pete's got to be a little disappointed having worked so hard to achieve that last service break and then played an atrocious game to let Muster in. Now Muster's taken control from the net position as 30 love. 40 love, three very easy points. Well, actually, Sampras has only won one of the last eight points. Very warm day here, so some of the sponsors hand out their respective caps for the folks to put on. Trying to put it away with the forehand again, but it's a difficult assignment on clay, especially when you're playing against somebody who stands so far back and who can run almost anything down in spite of his serious knee injuries that he's had in the past, or injury rather, that he's had. A few whistles from the crowd there for Pete Sampras. They get stuck into it over here at the French if they think you're not giving it your best, but Muster uh, has just kept coming at Sampras, and Sampras more frustration than anything else the last couple of games. Partly frustration on the part of the crowd. First of all, they don't realize that Sampras plays this way anyway, even when he's winning for it, for one thing. And secondly, I think they'd like to see him do a lot better in this match, because he's a brilliant player to watch. As Musta jogs from receiving position to receiving position. She's had enough. <laughs> You got it. Fifteen thirty. And that gives you a look at the experience of Thomas Muster when he played that return. He was scampering. Look at this. He's off and running. He knows he doesn't get enough angle on this, and then he pays the price. Muster was there with plenty of time to spare. That's very good stuff from Pete Sampras. That's the volley he's been looking for. Oh. Tough to make yourself do it on the surface to serve and volley, but I think he's got to. Stays back. Oh. 
Came in a little later than he should, Fred, but it worked for him anyway. I mean, he had a good enough serve and should have followed it in. Got a, well, yes, he'd, he'd have had a lot easier volley to make had he followed the serve in. Game point. Again, it's just been a point here and there. We're at four all in the third set. Sampras holds on 5-4 now. He leads. There have been two breaks to serve. Traded between the two in the set. First two sets, both to Thomas Muster of Austria. More live coverage in a moment. He's likable. He's lovable. We love you, James. He's laughable. <laughs> He's big brother Jake. That's me. Jake goes home to help his foster mom handle a house full of kids. Can a person hold his breath underwater? I don't know, a minute maybe? Uh-oh. Sundays at 5 p.m. on Channel 23. Hey, buddy. Want to make a million dollars the easy way? You could marry into it. Yeah. You could climb the charts. Or you could play the HBO TV Guide Quest for the Best Game. Play daily in TV Guide and nightly on HBO. So hold on to that game card for your daily chance to win over 8,000 cash prizes. Play the HBO TV Guide Quest for the Best Game and make your first million the easy way. Or try real estate. I hope that wherever you are watching us, that it is a very pleasant morning for you. Here in the afternoon, it's just, uh, it's just a beautiful day in Paris, watching the French championships that are growing in stature every year. This tournament has enjoyed a very good start, better than I ever remember. Yes, there have been some, of course, surprises, but nothing of the, of the caliber of last year when the men's two top seeds were decimated in the first round. Well, the crowd are totally behind young Pete Sampras. Of course, uh, the U.S. Open was televised right throughout Europe, and Jim Courier, his buddy there, taking interest in this match, and they want Sampras to win a set here and take this to four sets at least. He is two points from doing just that at 4-5 at Love 30. Big forehand this time from Sampras. He closes in. Watch him look at this. Watches it right onto the racket and then hits the winner cross court. Takes a little bit of the edge off a tournament, doesn't it, when the two top seeds lose in the first day. Edberg and Becker both out in the first round last year. Tarek Benhabilis, that was on your screen there, one of the veteran French players. Wild card here this year. That overhead gives him two set points in the third set. And the crowd loved that one because he came in, it was just like a, a basketball, a dunk shot. The ball goes up in the air on this. Watch this jump. That takes some good athletic ability to be able to time that shot in the air. Set point. Thirty forty, still set point for Pete Sampras. Becker earlier today beating Jordi Arese of Spain. He's the guy who beat Bjorn Borg in Monte Carlo. Watch this again. Good touch on that volley. He knows very well that Sampras is out of court. That is why this is Deuce. Edberg also won his match, so the two top seeds are through to the next round. He had an easy one today.
Another break point for Sampras. Set point. His third set point of this game. First set points he's had in the match. First two sets to Thomas Muster, 6-4, 6-4. There it is. Pete Sampras is still in this match. Two sets to one for Thomas Musto. When we come back, a complete update on what's been going on here at the French Championships. We'll be back in a moment. In a little bit. It's noontime all over back home, so let's take a lunch break and bring you up to date on everything that's happened around and about these tennis courts this afternoon. And there have been a couple of surprises. Let's get you, first of all, to the women and all the women who were supposed to win. Straight sets beats his countryman, Rudolf Gilbert. 6 2, 6 1, and 6 1. The caught through to the second round with a lot of support from the fans. Carol Novacek, the 14th seed, came in here and played a competitive match with Magnus Gustafsson, but he turned an ankle, couldn't get ice on it in time. The ankle swelled up, and Novacek had to retire toward the end of set number three. This one has to go down as, as an upset. Jaime Onsins of Brazil beating Javier Sanchez. It took him four sets to do it, 6-3 in the fourth. Onsins through to the second round. Perhaps the best American, best chance for an American to win this tournament. Some people seem to think Jim Courier can do it. He's an improved version of the Jim Courier we saw play very well here last year, and in fact the year before as well. 6-3, 6-3, and 6-love over Derek Ostanio of the United States. On Court Central earlier, the number two seed, Boris Becker had probably an easier time than many people thought he might against Jordi Arese. He wins it in three sets, two, five, and two. And Aaron Krikstein, he has made a career out of five set matches, 20 and five in five set matches. Played a bunch of them here last year. Two match points against him in the fifth and deciding set, but he gets by Eduardo Masso. He seems to be healthy right now. Tough first round match for him. Alberto.